Puzzling Time. And today we're going to look at Foldology by Afar Yermakov. This is a folding origami style puzzle. Afar was kind enough to send me two copies of this. So what I'm going to do is when I get to 100 subscribers, I'm going to give away a copy of this because there's 100 puzzles in each pack. And I thought 100 puzzles, 100 subscribers seems like a good idea. And I've not opened this yet, so let's open this package up. And from what I've kind of read on the Amazon description is the aim of the game is to fold the sheets over to make pictures. And there's a few hints to help you along the way. So let's have a look at the sheet here. So it says, fold each sheet into a four by four square so that one side shows the complete picture and the other side has the dark colored squares on the reverse. There's some tips here. You only need to make horizontal, vertical and diagonal creases Press firmly and use the grid lines to make sharp, neat creases. But don't worry if your folds aren't perfect. Happy folding. And you can see this is like a notepad. It binds at the top. So you can basically just take one of these off and have a go at it and then move on to the next puzzle. And I believe as you work through these puzzles, they get progressively harder. And you can see here we've just got vertical and horizontal folds probably but as we work through these puzzles we can see they're getting much more complex especially towards the back here so this allows you to learn different folding or origami techniques to make up the pictures I think it's an absolutely fantastic idea so let's give one a go take off the top challenge there and this is perfect for just keeping with you you can kind of keep that in your bag keep that in your your pocket in your desk at work and then when you get a bit of downtime or you need a bit of downtime you can attempt to solve this so obviously we've got a picture of the the, the earth here if I want to make this into a sphere then I'm going to have to fold along these two edges like this I'll try and be as uh, neat as possible but not always that possible okay so I've got my picture on the front and the second task don't forget to get all the dark squares on the back So here we seem to have a not too difficult first puzzle there. It's the first puzzle I do get harder. Reading the reviews, again you can see that each one, each puzzle becomes harder as you go through. Some people have tried skipping ahead and trying some harder puzzles and uh, have some difficulties. So there's America there. Where these puzzles come from you can find these on amazon there'll be a link in the description below check that out they're currently on offer hopefully they'll still be on offer for a little bit longer and i will actually try skipping forward a few um so this one looks quite challenging let's take it out What's my picture going to be here? Hmm. Oh, two. My picture seems to be a whale. And that's going to fold over there. I presume I'm going to have to fold this in. So a fold, a fold, and a fold. My issue will be. I don't want to fold this bit over just yet. So there's no tearing that's required. So 
so let's just try making the the sides. That's what I would want to do. Is the fold here? And then fold along there. Obviously my issue is parts of the picture are being hidden behind. So maybe I should save those a little bit later. I think a, a, a corner like this, if I make diagonal folds, so along this diagonal and along this diagonal, Well, they kind of squeeze together, but I don't see how they both display at the same time. So straight away, just by skipping forward a few steps, I seem to have come across a puzzle that is really going to have to make me think. Uh, it's number 12. Uh, I'm really going to have to think about how to, to go around solving this puzzle. This does seem quite a difficult one. So, you know, maybe I'll put that aside. I took out 13 by mistake, but 13 actually looks a little bit simpler. Uh, this hedgehog. It seems to be I need to get this fold over here somehow. So... And that fold needs to go on top. So again, I'm going to be honest with you, straight away I'm a little bit stumped by some of these just down at number 12 and 13. These look like really taxing puzzles. And in fact, the creator claims that this 100 puzzles could take you up to 100 hours to solve. So don't expect to you know, create all of them like this first one straight away. This is obviously to lull you into a bit of a false sense of security because as soon as you try to skip ahead they'll become quite difficult quickly and you have to learn different folding techniques to be able to successfully complete this entire pack absolutely uh, wonderful very impressed with these uh, puzzles very impressed with the difficulty and the quality of the puzzles i will do my best to try and get uh, a couple of these uh, folded over and complete and you'll see them on my Instagram page link below if you're interested in finding out more about foldology how I got hold of this pack or about the creator then please leave a comment below and I'll be happy to reply thanks for watching bye for now actually before we end this video I'm going to show you how I actually managed to solve this because I've sat here for 10 minutes now and and worked this out so to work this puzzle out, I thought more about what had to be on the back, which is these four squares in each corner. And to do that, I had to fold the top two squares over and in on themselves. And the only real way that worked was by folding down then folding these pieces out so I kind of got this in and then folding those pieces out and they kind of fold around the back like that so I've got this top part of this whale complete and I've also got the, the dark pieces on the back Next, it, I looked at these corners here. These weren't too difficult. I fold in and then back out on the diagonals. And the same on the other side, that would complete the front. 
but I would have this issue with a light color square on the back. So to get rid of that, I actually have to do diagonal folds like this. So as I fold that piece in, I need to do a kind of diagonal fold as well. It's quite tricky, quite a bit of dexterity. My uh, fat fingers seem to struggle with this. So I'll try and show you on this side. So we'll do the, the horizontal fold, the vertical fold, and then the diagonal fold. And if I fold up, and then I want to fold them in like that, So the back is complete. And then on the front, it'll just be a case of folding in and down. But I have to do all of that kind of at the same time. So quite tricky. So in to make the front. Same on this side, in. And fold along there. If you're a bit OCD, you're going to love this kind of stuff because you can make them really neat. I don't tend to have much OCD, so I tend to be okay. And then I can't just fold this back like that. I need to be able to fold these pieces behind. This really is tricky. It really is. A workout for your fingers. Well done, Afa, because you have created here just using four inch pieces of paper some quite tricky dexterity puzzles that you know you the user needs to think. You will not get away with uh, just going at this haphazardly. Oh, I've managed to actually do one side and here on the other side now if I can get that folded out like that oh complete there we go so not neat at all, just like he said, don't worry if your creases aren't neat, well they're not. There's my whale, there's the back, so put that together with the, the earth one that we did. I've done numbers 1 and 12, level 1 and level 12 if you like, level 13 can wait for today, um, and I'm going to need a long, long sleep before I can think about tackling level 100. So there you go. Well done, Afa, absolutely fantastic. Uh, brilliant um, idea, well constructed, great price and hours and hours of challenge there. Don't forget to like and subscribe. That's bye for now.